In the short term, though, in the shorter term, worrying about nasty humans using somewhat intelligent AIs to enact their nasty humanity on the rest of humanity, th this is a real worry, right? Like, how about in the period before you get a super intelligence, you have AIs that are around the smartest people, but not in every way, but they can still do a lot of powerful stuff and act semi-autonomously. I mean, this is where you get into like robot army territory or like robot cyber army that hacks into, hacks into the power grid. I mean, there, so there's, there's a lot of ways you could imagine nasty national leaders in one place or another using AIs that are like early stage AGIs to, to do nasty things. With like robot armies and... S yeah, robot armies or, or software on the, on the, on the internet, right. right? Or, yeah, I mean, there's... Or, I mean, AIs that design nasty bioweapons and additives put in the water supply. I mean, you could, there's a lot of imagination you could use there, right? Because, so, I mean, this is where AGIs are smart enough to be kind of adaptive and autonomous in how they obey your commands, but they aren't yet powerful enough to overcome their, their human creators. Like, so, I mean, what if, what if some advertising company or mobile phone company or combination of the two was like truly taken over by the intelligence division of some dictatorship, right? And then was doing much more than like influencing people to, to vote for Trump using fake news on Facebook, but was really like using the video games that you're playing, say using the brain implant you have for, for Google search by thought to affect, affect the way you're thinking, right? And, what if you had an AI that was really smart in understanding the human brain and human motivation that was like a super advertising agent in the hands of some nast nasty dictator, right? There, there's, there's a lot of things that, at the intermediate level I mean, of intelligence where the AI is still being controlled by people that are maybe more, more worrisome, right? All right so, what do we do about that stuff? Because that's kind of scary. That is, that is scary, because you see now, like, who's running the most powerful countries in the world are not necessarily the most compassionate and benevolent human beings on the planet, right? And even something like Bitcoin or Ethereum, which are created by mostly good-hearted anarcho-libertarians, I mean, arguably, various mafia organizations, are controlling large bits of the Bitcoin and Ethereum ecosystems, right? Is that so, true? Yeah, it's, it seems. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. Yeah. That. Is that recent or? No. Oh, really? Last uh, couple of years? More. More. Longer than that, yeah. Because they can move money illegally. I mean, or legally. Right now, cryptocurrencies are a good way to launder moderate amounts of money, right? I mean, if okay. you want to launder billions of dollars, it's not good. You gotta use your local you, bank, an yeah, international bank. Right, if you want to launder. <laughs> tens of millions of dollars, it's, it's probably, probably, I mean, I'm not rich enough that I require that service at the moment, but it seems to be an effective way to do things. And yeah, that's an so, example of tech being used by, for bad intentions. And the same thing could happen with AI. I mean, the money laundering is good or bad intentions, right? Because, I mean, there are, there are people in Iran who don't have bad intentions, but they're restricted from moving money due to, you know, international tensions that have nothing to do with them, right? It's yeah. the religious government there versus the government in, in U.S. and it's not their fault and they didn't get their money by doing anything immoral, but they still want to transfer money out to business partners or family members or something, right? So, yeah, the same tools that are used for good ends are, are, are used for bad ends as 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 well, and that's that's always the case. But yeah, there, I think there's a lot of dangerous possibilities out there, certainly. And I mean, you could you could you could imagine. Uh, I mean, 
one thing I worry about is as automation advances, right, then the need to have less educated human beings carry out work may disappear rapidly, right? We already see that with like long distance truck drivers will be obsoleted. We'll see fully automated McDonald's around pretty soon. So in the more developed world, I think we're just going to see some form of, of social welfare become prevalent, whether it's a universal basic income or some similar mechanism. Thank you.